You know, I'm a pretty big Notion nerd, but a lot of people don't know some of the specifics, the specific that exists inside of Notion. So I figured I'd drop some five really cool tips that I know about that you just might not know about inside of this illustrious app we call Notion. Now on this page, I have a calendar database that for my first trick, I will show you has a pretty cool feature that can be implemented. First and foremost, if we go to the three dots on a calendar database and click on the layout, we actually can adjust the weekly or monthly view to, you see right here, either show weekends or not. As you can see right here, this little update allows you to have a real weekly view where it's essentially only for business days and you don't have to worry about anything on the weekends. And then you'll notice for my second tip that there's actually a item here that can be updated for everything. So as you can see right here, this is the page emoji. And in order to get rid of that, what I could actually do is click on the layout again. And for any database, for my second tip, you'll be able to untick it. And for that view, you will not see the icons. Now, a third tip that I find very interesting can be done on any page as well. And that is essentially grabbing multiple different pages inside of a database and then right clicking on it. And you'll see here, rather than having to go through and manually change icons one at a time, we could actually change all of these to this option right here. Like if we did video, for example, you'll see that all of the ones selected would actually have their emoji changed. And if I want to very quickly, I could press undo and remove all of those page icons from being changed. So that was number three. Now, number four and also pretty unique is the ability to inside of any URL property, press edit property. And you'll notice here that by default, it actually has a thing. It actually has this unticked and this is showing the full URL. So if I wanted to show everything like it used to be prior to the update a couple months back, I can click on this button and it'll show the entire URL. However, I really recommend that you keep this unchecked as it removes any of the unnecessary fluff. And if you want to see the full one, you can just click on it and then you'll have the entirety of the view here. This doesn't just limit it from something that's a short URL like that. If you check out any of these really long ones like this, this is showing the full option here. However, since it's a formula, it's not able to make that adjustment. However, inside of here, you'll notice that the content editing folder is extremely short in comparison. And without even needing to edit the property, I could actually just click rename. And then from there, click on or off show full URL. And tip number five, if you want to make any of your properties have a description like this, all you need to do is go into any view and click on edit property and then press the add property description button right here and write something out that says what it's about. This is a property indicating the date when this content was published on its respective platform. And while you can see this inside of a table view, you can't see it on different ones like the calendar. However, you can fix that by simply clicking on the page itself and then hovering over this tooltip right here. Similar to what I showed earlier, you don't even have to click edit property as that was one option, but you can simply press rename and then make the adjustment to the tooltip as well. I hope these five tips help you learn a little bit more about Notion and how you can improve your skill set using the product. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out more content like this one on how to improve your skills using Notion even more.